All right, Ken, thanks. Silicon Valley playing a major role in NASA's mission to return to the moon. KPI X5's Kit Doe shows us some of the new technology that is transforming space travel. When it comes to building bases on the moon or even Mars, you could ship all that building material up into space, but why would you want to? In my hand is simulated moon dirt, a.k.a. regolith. And to understand how this powdered rock combined with lightweight plastics from Earth by a Bay Area company called Made in Space and how it all just might advance the human race, we have to go back to 2014. Zero. After years of development, Made in Space got a 3D printer on board the International Space Station. A short time later, astronaut Butch Wilmore lost a torque wrench, and so engineer Noah Paul Jin led the effort to just print one up there. And so in about a week, we iterated on the ground and designed this. In the years since, Made in Space has 3D printed more than 200 items while in orbit, where astronauts just swing by and pick them up. CEO Andrew Rush says five years ago, printing in space was just a dream. It feels like so, you know, pedestrian almost, but then we have to kind of pause and say, wow, this is something that nobody else is doing. Speaking of, in three years, Made in Space will launch Arcanaut. While in orbit, it'll 3D print its own huge solar panels that are so big it would not have been feasible to launch. NASA has a $73 million contract with Made in Space, and they're set to launch in 2022. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine toured the facility today and was impressed. NASA is now a partner with you on the world's first satellite that will manufacture and assemble itself <laughs> in orbit. Yep. That is, uh, that's transformation. Back to the rock powder and the plastic. If you mix a small amount of this plastic with the regolith that you find on the moon and then squirt it through a heated nozzle, you can manufacture this material, this composite material that has the best properties of both stone and plastic. Bridenstine, who is 44, says there is broad support from the White House to Capitol Hill to get back to the moon by 2024, build a base there, and get us to Mars. Everything you've seen here today, do you think we'll be able to go to Mars in your lifetime? Absolutely, 100%. In Mountain View, Kit Doe, KPIX5.